wondering, how did I get my tinnitus? There are lots of ways to get tinnitus, but how did I get mine? Well, how did I get my tinnitus? I got it from drumming. <laughs> that's actually <laughs> that's actually me. <laughs> With, I don't know if you recognize the face at all, but that's me there playing drums with long curly hair. And I used to swim a lot, so uh, in the pools I used to have uh, you know blonde hair and the, the chlorine in the sun in Australia. Um, yeah, lots of curly hair. But um, there's me again. This is probably I was about 13 in the left photo, 18 year old, 18 years old in the right photo. Looking nice, look on the right, right, and very professional. And um, that bottom photo there is actually um, about uh, a week after that second photo. So 13, 18, 18, one week, if that makes sense. And you obviously notice that there's a lot of funny expressions on this face, on my face, and a lot of that going on. But the one thing you're not going to notice is earplugs. No earplugs at all. And maybe some of you got, got your tinnitus from noise trauma. So I'm just telling my story now about how I got mine. How I got my tinnitus. And the funny thing was I, was, I was stupid. I was really stupid. If I could go back in time and punch myself in the face and say, Liam, you're a freaking idiot. Put some God, you're, you, you know, invincible teenager syndrome. So stupid. Put some fucking earplugs in, right? Excuse the language, but it's true, you know, because tinnitus, tinnitus is no joke. It's not, not a laughing matter. It was, I was very stupid. I was very naive. I thought I was awesome. My music teachers, uh, my parents, even my brother, I've got a twin brother, not identical, told me to put earplugs in, but I didn't do it. Okay? So if I could go back in time and slap myself in the face, I'd do it. Okay? But now, <laughs> this is my cool. I made the sound effects of my mouth, by the way, just so you know. But um, so I got tinnitus at the age of 22, and it was absolutely devastating. So. As it turned out, um, I was playing drums from about 13 all the way down to the age of uh, 21 without any earplugs. And I had to do this mask on a calculator. I know it's embarrassing. But it's eight years playing drums without earplugs, okay? No earplugs at all. So I got um, tinnitus properly at the age of 22 and it was devastating. As I said, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat without hearing it. And honestly, I was worried about my future. Was I going to come deaf? You know, I'd go on tinnitustalk.com and I'd see all these horrible stories. And I just pictured that being myself, really. And what was my future going to become? Was I going to have to sleep with a white noise machine on? And if I did have to sleep with a white noise machine on, you know, what was going to happen then? I mean, my quality of life just went from, you know, great, which I thought was pretty good. I was just a healthy, normal kid, down to normal, down to average, down to low, all the way down to downright depression. And I honestly thought there was no way out because, you know, when a doctor tells you it's never going away, you believe him, right? And I started to think, you know, if I got a girlfriend, would she leave me due to this annoying white noise machine? I just figured that, you know, if I um, got a girlfriend and it was going well, you know, and, you know, you've got the honeymoon relationship in the beginning where it's like, oh, no, it's fine. I don't matter. You know, it's fine, whatever. But then, you know, three months in, four months in, you've got this annoying machine. You start sleeping in other bedrooms and that sort of stuff. I mean, I just figured that... I. I was 22. I mean, I saw a life ahead of me and it didn't look good. Okay, so, you know, social events, I could hear it. I, um, it, was, it, it was about an 8 out of 10, by the way. I could hear it everywhere. Driving, like, I wasn't driving a car at that stage, but I was, um, you know, getting driven places and, um, you know, I could hear it everywhere. So, social events, gone. Job, absolutely couldn't even concentrate. Couldn't even sit down. I, I'm sitting in a quiet room right now. I'm in Thailand at the moment because the food is just amazing, but... You know, there's no way I could sit in a quiet room right now and make this presentation without freaking out every two minutes about it. So I'm thinking, like, is it going to go away? Is it for life? You know, what's going to happen? Anyway, so girlfriend, poof, gone, okay? And all the ENTs, doctors, and everyone said it was for life and you couldn't get rid of it. But I had to get rid of it. I needed to. So I started trying things, but nothing worked, okay? Supplements, acupuncture, um, meditation, all that stuff, brain rewiring, habituation, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? It's bullshit. It doesn't work. And you're going to see why there is zero chance of that ever working, ever working when you realize what tinnitus actually is, okay? So that stuff did not work at all. And the funny thing is I started doing my own research on this. Okay, I didn't read that much. <laughs> I think that's a combination of lots of different people's desks, right? But I started doing my own research and I found some few, a few YouTube videos. I realized that you can actually get a lot of relief from eating healthily and cutting out certain foods. So I started to eat healthily and I started cutting out uh, different foods and I started losing the ringing in my ears and I started cutting out coffee 
and well, I wasn't drinking wine. I was 22 year old boy. <laughs> I'm not going to sit down and have a wine, but these are no notes, right? So I was drinking coffee every now and again and wine, and I was cutting out a lot more things. But I think for you, for you watching right now, these might be common things for you. So when I when I say coffee, I mean caffeinated drinks. So even you know lots of lots of soft drinks, energy drinks, anything with caffeine in it, and alcohol. So wine, Chardonnay, which is the same thing, uh, beer, spirits. Um, you know, even some, some form of chocolate, should be eating chocolate anyway. But for the next two months, I ate ridiculously healthy, ridiculously healthy. And I noticed that the ringing in my ears was going down. But then I hit a wall. The ringing didn't stop altogether. And to be honest, even though it was getting better, some days it fluctuated. So it went up and down. And as you can tell, I was pretty frustrated. And I'm just <laughs> reliving it now. And it was pretty damn bad, okay? It was pretty freaking bad and I figured that the healthy foods I was eating weren't high quality enough because think about it I was eating some good quality foods Australia is pretty good you know it's mostly GMO free and I got some good foods and I was only shopping at organic stores I was doing the best I could um, but I just figured that you know maybe there's other healthier foods because you know uh, there's got to be somewhere else because if I, if I have some pretty healthy foods and it nearly goes away what if I have some extremely healthy foods and it really goes away so the funny thing was I actually looked online for more information where you can get high quality foods and I saw that Thailand um, has one of the lowest pesticide usage on the planet, believe it or not, which is funnily enough where I am now. And the reason I'm back here is because the food is so damn good. I don't mean taste-wise, I mean health-wise. So I bought a one-way ticket to Thailand. <laughs> and this was actually my Hail Mary. This was, to me, this is my one shot. And I wasn't coming home until I got rid of my tinnitus. Okay? And this was, um, I took this video a while ago, and this is the foods in Thailand. Uh, lots of it. And yeah, you get the idea. Um, so as you can see, I'll play it again while I talk, but as you can see, I went to Thailand and this is all I ate. So lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. Um, I just had bottled water, obviously, because you can't drink the tap water. I was extremely healthy. I was extremely, extremely healthy. Um, you know, I was in Chiang Mai, so there wasn't the smog in Bangkok. I'm in Chiang Mai now as well. But the funny thing is, after in Thailand, I, I did realize something and... That was the worst decision of my life. <laughs> it actually was. And okay, maybe second to playing drums without earplugs, okay? But the weather in Thailand was so hot and my apartment was so low quality and dirty that even though I was eating this food for a long time, I was actually stressed out even more. And so I actually, I, I made the tinnitus worse. So I'm laughing, but Jesus, you can imagine how I felt. I'm actually made the tinnitus worse. I couldn't believe it. And here's a quick video of my actual apartment. So as you can see, it's literally just one room, no desk. Very, very hot. Actually, it was ridiculous. It's got gorgeous view. So, you know, lovely natural light. But you see the point I'm trying to make. So I was living in, in there for about um, two months. And the aircon, you know, was just a joke. It didn't work most of the time. I had to get the repair lady in about three times. So just the general stress. Um, my tinnitus was very, very bad for about four days. I was getting used to the heat. I couldn't take it. I was spending all the money that I'd made from drum lessons. And my apartment got way worse. Way, way, way worse. And I did my normal thing. I started eating these foods. And eventually in about three weeks, my tinnitus got better. And what I mean better, it wasn't as loud. It was what the ring wasn't as loud in my ears. And I started, I did the same thing that I did back in Melbourne. I was doing research and I found that there was a place in Romania, a class you could say, where they were actually um, helping people reduce inflammation. And I knew that inflammation uh, was a big causation of tinnitus. And basically, it was this place in Romania, in Bucharest, Romania. So I decided to go to Romania to learn about inflammation. And here is a video. <laughs> oh, it's a long time ago of me in, in Bucharest, some temples. Very professional, I know. Once again, you know, I was already running out of money from the uh, drums that I was... I made uh, money teaching drums and I wish I couldn't do that anymore. So I couldn't go back and start teaching drums, making my tinnitus worse. So I had nowhere to really turn and all my money was slowly depleting and I was in Eastern Europe now. And so the other thing I didn't realize was there was barely no fruit in Romania. I had my eyes all on the... On the the um, the cold temperature therapy they were teaching. The classes that I was doing was all about cold temperature therapy in the snow, which was ridiculous. 
and we basically I forgot there was there's no fruit and I forgot I didn't realize there was no fruit or vegetables and it, what fruit there was it was just there wasn't enough of it and it wasn't good enough it was pesticide and so my tinnitus plateaued here but uh, once again about four weeks um, the cold temperature therapy started helping as well and the tinnitus started going down a bit more and so back to my computer I went <laughs> basically and finally I decided to go to Belize, Georgia because I wanted to learn about proper muscle release because they were doing this, it looked like it's a really interesting course. And you might think, why didn't I just go and learn on my computer? Well, I really wanted to go and speak to the people. I had to meet these people who were helping with it because I knew that um, the muscle release could help um, with inflammation and stress as well. And I knew that stress built up in a physical form as well. So I really just wanted to learn about this. And I would, trust me, I was not going to make the mistake of going somewhere cold with no quality foods. And I actually, I, and I went to Georgia, Belize, as I said, got my accommodation all booked up and I was seriously suffering, both financially and with my tinnitus. And the funny thing was, I'd walk outside my apartment and I'd see these people who were just in, very, in Bucharest, very poverty-stricken country, and they were in such a bad situation. And I, the funny thing was, I wished I was them. And it sounds ridiculous, and I know I'm putting on a strong face in this video here, but... I really just wish that if they didn't have, I didn't have tinnitus. And so, here I am again. You can see longer hair, same jacket, in Belize, Georgia. <laughs> same video style. There you get the idea. But, uh, you know, basically that's... I, I traveled around the world trying to figure this stuff out, really. And at this stage, I was just waking up every day to my daily routine. I'd start off with some muscle release and then a cold shower. <laughs> okay, the cold shower wasn't really that bad. And I'm going to pick, yeah, it was, it was more like this. So it was more like it's a bit chilly and actually trying to be refreshing. And um, then, of course, I had, I was eating healthy. So that's just a bomb oh, glass with some green uh, vegetables in it just to show that I was being healthy. And, um, I go back to work and I started, I started doing some more research on the internet, I did forums and YouTube channels and um, all these documents I was looking at just to figure out how to get over tonight is because I knew there had to be a solution, you know, it's just, just to ring it in the ears and as painful as it was, it seemed so simple. And then one day I stumbled across something very interesting. I stumbled across an article on fasting. And I didn't even know what fasting meant, and I literally had no idea. And I stumbled across an article written by the University of Southern California. So I thought, great, so this is an article. And seeing as it was done by a university, I knew I could trust it. And I thought, interesting. So basically the idea was fasting triggers stem cell regeneration of damaged old, of, uh, damaged, sorry, damaged old immune system, good English, Liam. <laughs> and, you know, I thought that's, that's kind of cool. Um, but, you know, the immune system, it does, it's not going to help me. It's not going to help with tinnitus. So I guess if you're trying to kick the cold or not ever get the flu again, fasting is going to help that person. But then I read the article. And so here you can see it says, prolonged fasting not only helps your immune system, but it also shifts stem cells from a dormant state into a state of self-renewal. Now, that was interesting to me because I knew from prior research, stem cells were cells that created other cells. They created new cells. And I just knew that because I'd done some prior research on the topic. You can look up, look it up yourself, go for it. Um, and I did some more research research for the next week on fasting and stem cells. And I learned that I really solidified that knowledge that stem cells are like little workers. So they're like little um, bricklayers. And all they do is they, they build new walls of bricks if you're a new cell. So you've broken that wall of cells. You've broken your brick wall. You've broken that, okay? So in order to fix that brick wall, you need to kick your workers, your stem cells into overdrive so that they work super hard to fix that brick wall. So you can see the diagram here so that the bricks here would be the cells, okay? So it looks like that. And so once that happens, uh, you get the little guys coming in. So these are, are the stem cells. So if you can imagine the cells are the bricks there and then these guys are the stem cells. And when you fast, you kick them. <laughs> Very cool effects, right? There you go, very professional, and they're gonna come in and uh, fix everything. So what, what I did was, I gave it a go for two days. I didn't eat, drink, I didn't have a shower or even brush my teeth. So I was doing a thing called dry fasting. So there's regular fasting, then there's dry fasting. Dry fasting is more effective. So now, no showers because you can actually, you can actually absorb uh, liquid through your skin. 
because your skin can actually take in liquid, so I had no showers. And the thing is, my tinnitus got worse. And I honestly cried myself to sleep that night. And I looked like this. And I regretted ever playing drums. And I resented my doctors for not really caring and telling me that I just had to cope with it. And I was only 23. Was this really going to be the rest of my life? I mean, look, not only could I not sleep, but how is it going to work? Or even have a conversation with people without getting distracted. And life just didn't seem worth it. I really couldn't imagine going on like this. And I fell asleep about two hours later. But then I woke up 12 hours later. I slept for 12 hours. <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. And I got up and I couldn't actually believe my ears. No humming. No whistling, no wishing, just complete silence. I heard the birds outside my window for the first time in years. I heard my next door neighbor silently talking through the walls. I heard everything. But more importantly, what I didn't hear was my tinnitus. And, <laughs> okay, it sounds lame, but I did cry again. <laughs> Lots of crying, right? And this time with happiness. And that was when I had my biggest epiphany of all. I realized that getting rid of tinnitus isn't about what you put into your body. It's not about medicine or meditation. It needs to have a chance to put its sole focus on healing you. Just you and nothing else. Your body's natural state is a state of self-regeneration and healing. No digesting foods or liquids. Just good old-fashioned healing. And we'll get to the science behind this in just a second. But... I just want to tell you a little bit, the last part of my story. My future did change too. I could see myself easily getting a job. I could see myself with a partner who wouldn't be upset with any annoying white noise machine at nighttime or me not being able to go to loud concerts or movie theaters or listen to music with her or anything like that. And plus, I was in great shape due to the food I was eating. I was fasting. Do you see how amazing this is? I, I completely turned my entire life around. Completely. Just imagine if this was you. If you've been, you maybe you have tinnitus now, and you start looking for research, and you finally found that one thing. And it's not some stupid scam. It's not some stupid prescription medication. Okay, it's just, and it's not some woo woo natural meditation chakra stuff either. It's just letting your body do what it does best, which is heal itself. How amazing is that?